Okay, let's see if Jazzy can do his catching the biscuit trick. Jazzy, ready? Ready? Oh! <laughs> Close. <laughs> Hiya, modelers out there. Um, right. We're, uh, we've got a clear bench. Well, apart from this, which I've just had to repair. Methinks. Well, let's just explain. I came in the room and this was flat. It was like it was a wing, a proper straight wing. And it had broken, or oh, I think it was that one actually. It had broken along the seam as if some kind of, maybe I'd say a kitten paw or a cat paw. Just enough to break it. But anyway, repaired now. So she's, she's as good as new again. Yeah. She's happy. So that's that. Oops. And what have we got now? Oh, and there's a little car, die cast, that uh, Shanaza built. Doors open and the engine open, the boot, I mean the engine opens at the back to show a little, little engine, which is in there. <laughs> you can't really see it. It's got a nice little interior, but Lovely doors open. Bad screws on the doors though, so I'll leave it as it is. But yep, she made that. Very nice it is too. And what am I up to then? Well, I'll have... Oh, where's it gone? There it is. Let's reveal all of this. So, we have this. Yes, <laughs> the strange looking material piece, P34. Uh, it's a 19, 1977 car again, so it will go very well. Whoa, 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 come on, camera, please. It'll go very well with the Wolf and the Ferrari. I mean, no, the Ferrari's a different scale, but it'll go well with the Wolf. I can mount them two together. Uh, I can mount these, but uh, this and the Wolf together. But that's it. So, no metal edge parts in this, which I was quite disappointed in. But anyway, it's a lovely kit, and uh, the mood I'm in at the moment for modelling, it shouldn't take too long at all. It's nice, I mean, you can just imagine how big it's going to be with the engine and the wing attached. So, it's an, again, it's another really nice scale, and the detail is lovely. There is plenty of, I mean, all of these, can, I'm going to make some straps, which is like the real thing which will be good, it'll add a touch, add a touch to it, I think. Yeah, but there you go. Anyway, here we go. I'm starting on the engine. This should be fun. I nearly forgot. This is uh, the little metal Battersea power station. Um, wow, tell you what, these are nerve-wracking. Um, I've managed to, I was confused at the start, but I've managed to um, figure it out with the aid of my girlfriend, <laughs> thank you. And uh, they're fun, but the, the metal is incredibly brittle, and a couple of joints have already broken here and here, and they've also broken on. Uh, I think it's this one. Those two towers are now no longer joined. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. But on the whole, that was quite a little bit of fun. And they look good. They look very... I like them. I just really like them. And I think it was a lovely gift. Anyway, onto the uh, engine of the new build. Okie dokie, all the engine and gearbox components ready. Just get them together. This is easy, now I've done a couple of these. Anyway, on with it. I'm back. Um, engine very nearly complete. Just going to wire it up um, then attach the gearbox and the rear suspension. There's all the bits for the rear and the tubing as well. I've just remembered the tubing. Um, 
and uh, I've just painted the lovely exhausts that are let's say slightly awkward to put together on the engine but I'll get them, I mustn't get them out of this order but they'll be on soon so back in a bit well this is the last bit of the modelling or the last bit of the video probably unless I stick some clips on the end and the beginning I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do but uh, undercoated the bodywork got to work on the floor pan and underneath got some of the roll cage attached um, I have fire extinguish uh, I don't know bits and bobs to stick there um, the engine is complete and needs fine tuning if anything and uh, just a couple more tubes to add and uh, that means those use they, they, where you add the tubes and then I'm on to the exhausts which are there where are they yeah my absolute not favourite the other ones are on the sprue and that's where they're staying in number order these I put on and they just didn't work so I'm going to have to do it again um, we have the gearbox um, that's got to be touched up um, where is it there's the little rear end starter all of this oh that's to connect the engine up more tubing and the wing and the rear wing so that's where we stand at the moment at the making of this video more coming soon oh this is definitely the last part of the video unless I put a clip on the end of something completely different I don't know but I finally finished the engine show them the grey hair yeah very funny <laughs> That, I want to see that. That exhaust system nearly killed me. Oh, God, what a nightmare. And I'd stuck it all facing the other way. I'd, it was facing that way. That's why I couldn't get the gearbox to connect. <laughs> oh, how I laughed and cried and cried and cried. <laughs> now, now I just have to tidy it up. Now the heckling's over. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is the second time you've heckled. Heckle, heckle, heckle over everything I said. Yes, you did. Cheers, guys. Whatever's next, next. If not, that's it. Okay, I battled on a little longer, and um, that's how it finally turned out. And um, I'm pretty pleased with it. This looking exactly as it should some of the heads oh some of these pipes look a bit wibbly I'll have to set them right but everything else as far as I'm concerned is done that's what I like this is the end <laughs>